Here's a story at Reader's Digest, actually rd.com on the internet, and it's written by Taylor Markarian, and it's called 13 Spooky Ouija Board Stories That'll Give You Chills. And Taylor begins, any believer in the ghosts and supernatural will tell you their golden rule, don't play with Ouija boards. Opening up a board, they say, is like opening up a portal to the other side. Sure, it could connect you with a deceased grandparent, but more likely than not, it's bound to invite an unwanted spirit into your midst. And once that connection is open, it may be very difficult to choose. I'm sorry, to close. It may be very difficult to close, no matter how much you'd like that pointer to land on goodbye. That's one theory anyway. Whichever notion you subscribe to, everyone loves real Ouija board stories. Let's start with Hexed. Justin played with a Ouija board one day with several of his friends. They asked questions, but instead of the planchette moving to certain letters, it began to move in a strange pattern. Quote, It went to all four corners of the board and made an X, the 32-year-old New Jersey resident told Reader's Digest. Then it just went in circles. The next time he used the board, it was with a different friend at his house. Again, the planchette moved in the same strange pattern. He continues, I felt like it was some kind of hex. Later that night, when he was asleep, he felt a forceful hand grab his arm and wake him up. Everyone else in the house was sound asleep. Looking for a less freaky foray into the supernatural? Try some witch movies that'll put a spell on you. A Ghastly Glitch Abby was in her room one night after playing with the Ouija board earlier that day. As she was getting ready for bed, her computer screen changed from black to blue, and it turned on by itself. She turned the computer off. Again, the computer clicked itself back to life. Anxious, Abby unplugged the computer completely. And then the unpowered computer started to back up again. She buried the Ouija board in her backyard that same night. If you don't particularly want a Ouija board story of your own, Halloween party games will get you in the spooky spirit without, without the actual spirits. Looks like this was a Halloween article. Most people play with a Ouija board in groups, or at least with one another person with one other person. But Asiana wanted to try to use it on her own. She put her hands on the pointer and asked questions, but nothing happened. She took her hands off the pointer and was about to put the game away when the planchette began to move on its own. I'll never try that again, says the 30-year-old from New Jersey. The open circle. When Vince, now 30 years old, was a child, one of his friends goaded him into playing with a Ouija board in his basement. Young Vince did not expect anything out of the ordinary to happen, so he went along. Once they started to play, however, the lights began to flicker, the air around them grew cold and a spirit began to communicate with them through the board. The spirit spelled out a Russian name, and the spirit claimed he had been murdered. Vince says, we took a break to make some pizza rolls, but we forgot to close the circle when we were done. If you're new to Ouija board stories, that's a big no-no. After returning to the basement, the energy which was much heavier, Vince continues, and books and things were sprawled out on the floor, end quote. And yet the board remained perfectly still in the center of the room, 
just as they had left it. Vince says, upon looking at a mirror that we had nearby, the eye of the Ouija board was moving sporadically in the reflection. A haunted, ha a haunted, a haunted, it's there somewhere, a haunted housewarming. The first time I used a Ouija board, I was about six or seven, and I was with my mother and older sister, who was 15 at the time, says Paige, now 24. The family had just moved to a new house, much bigger and much older than the one in which they lived previously. That night, Paige, her mother, and her sister were eating pizza on the living room floor <laughs> since they didn't have Taco Molson too says stop kissing the mic <laughs> is that a sound problem for you guys I thought it was okay on that since they didn't have all their furniture set up yet and they put on a fire to ease the chill of the fall air after dinner, her sister pushed her mother to let them play with their old Ouija board. Of course, they brought it with them, cross-country. As we were using it, Paige recounts, a box in the living room that had some books in it literally flew across the room. Shortly after that, inexplicably, the fire went out, and their mother was so shaken that she took the girls to their grandmother's house to spend the night. Summer Camp Scare. Ouija board stories no, don't necessarily have to involve the professionally packaged toy. As a child, Liam was at summer camp one year when he and some other boys drew their own Ouija board on a large sheet of paper. He says, as soon as we started using it, we heard knocking coming from inside one of the lockers. Yikes. Side note, as any scary movie aficionado knows, never check out those sorts of suspicious noises. Blackout. There are times in all of our lives when we question if something is really a coincidence, or if it is in fact much more meaningful. When Becky used a Ouija board during her first semester in college, she had one of those experiences. She says, a few minutes in, we lost power. Some car hit a pole on our street. The timing was strange, she says, to say the least. Deadbeat Dad. Owen started playing with Ouija boards when he was a child. And he has continued to experience paranormal phenomena ever since. The 24-year-old Ohio native says, My grandfather on my father's side died before I was born. He and my dad were estranged, so my dad never spoke of him, nor did he have pictures of him around. One day, Owen began to see and talk to a person he called Michael. Unbeknownst to him, Michael was his grandfather's name. Finally, my parents sat me down, he says, showed me a picture of a man I'd never seen, and asked me if I knew who it was. I told them it was Michael, and that he was there with us right then. Kind of wish these stories would have an ending. <laughs> That's Reader's Digest for you. Flamethrower. Be warned, some Ouija board stories can be violent. I challenge you to do that in a paragraph of this size. When Anna was in high school, she had a sleepover with a bunch of her friends. One of them, Brianna, wanted to use the Ouija board to contact her grandfather, who had recently passed away. The friends set up the board, turned off the lights, and lit a candle. They called upon the spirit of the grandfather, but
But when they did, the candle suddenly threw itself directly at Anna. She felt it was probably not the spirit for which they had called. Blast from the Past Glenn, a 29-year-old from Pennsylvania, says of his experience with the Ouija, I saw a full-bodied apparition. The apparition he saw was that of a young girl, wearing what looked like a commoner's clothing from an antiquated era. He told the story to his neighbors, who happened to be historians, and they told them that a little girl, just like the one he described, used to live in his house. Quote, The apparition ended up being a ten-year-old girl named Annalisa, who had died of tuberculosis sometime in the late 1800s. I think there's more to this story from Annalisa, but that's where this story ends. Reader's Digest, people. So digestible. Delayed reaction. One evening when she was in high school, Sherry decided to use the Ouija with her friends. Nothing seemed to happen, so they all just gave up. What they would later discover was that the Ouija board did actually work. The 29-year-old Iowa resident says... Weird stuff happened in the house ever since that night, and to this day, it hasn't stopped. We've had glasses move right across the table by themselves. I saw a spoon and a cup of coffee aggressively stir in the cup without anyone being near it. The sound of footsteps leading from upstairs down into the living room entrance has never stopped. Paranormal experts say that these are the classic signs of a haunted house. They must be geniuses. Dorm Hall Morgue. When Tommy was a freshman in college, he and his dorm mates took out a Ouija board and had a threatening encounter with some very dark spirits. The 25-year-old New Yorker says the dorm hall used to be a morgue. It was the perfect setting for a goof with friends, he thought, but they failed to realize just how serious it could get. The planchette began to move on the board, and the spirit or spirits communicated to them that 83 demons would come for them. He says the next thing you knew... The dorm is haunted, and the girls can't sleep because stuff was turning on and off and messing with them, so they had a priest come in to bless the room. Afterward, it was good. He adds, that's why I don't mess with Ouija boards anymore. Metal Core says, behold, the lightning rod of Zeus. When heads roll. Randy learned what a Ouija board was the hard way when two of his family members introduced him to one when they were all children. The 36 year old Michigan resident says, My brother and cousin were older than us. This particular time, they had come home with a Ouija board. We agreed to play and to turn off the lights and to light a candle. Randy sat down with his favorite doll, Kelly, at his side, nervously waiting in the dark. He says we started playing and asking questions, and before we knew it, the planchette started moving around in a pointed direction. It traveled the board, dragging itself to the letter K. It then made its way to E and L. For a moment it paused, then quickly circled right back around for another L, before finally landing on Y, spelling out the name of his doll. 
Randy recounts the next thing we knew. There was a loud bang against the radiator, and everybody started screaming. We turned on the lights, and by the radiator was the severed head of my favorite doll. <laughs>